So a little bit about me before we start. My name is Rebecca Lopez, as I stated. I'm a senior at Impact Academy, which is why you're about to watch my graduation portfolio. And I'm the oldest child of three, so I have one younger brother and one younger sister. And I'll be, my fir I'll be the first in my family to be going to college. So in the fall, I hope to be attending Occidental College. I'm already enrolled and really excited about that. So some of my interests include drama, playing soccer, and spending time with my friends and family. My goals and future plans. So some of my goals is to succeed in college, not only get into it because I already got accepted and have enrolled, but I also want to be successful because I know that they say that the workload is pretty heavy and it's it could be stressful at times, so I want to make sure that actually I don't just barely pass by that I'm actually successful in college. I also hope to study abroad and get involved on campus um, I will be going to LA, and since family is something really important to me, I know it's going to be a difficult transition. And I hope that by getting involved around campus, it will help make the transition smoother. After that, I hope to return home and help others get to college as well, because that is something I'm really passionate about. And that kind of ties into my future goals, which I hope to enroll into graduate school for either business or law. Why do I believe the graduation portfolio is important? It's for three specific reasons. The first reason is to ensure that I have learned from the work I have done and I'm able to reflect upon it. Because in college, I'm paying for my education. So if I'm just learning stuff that I'm not going to be able to use in the future, it's kind of useless. So knowing that I can actually use this outside of the classroom is going to be very important. And so the second reason is to show teachers, staff, and parents that I indeed have learned the skills and material necessary to succeed in college. And the last, and I think the most important reason, is to make sure that I know it. I'm actually, towards graduation, when a student starts to get nervous, it starts to doubt, like, am I really ready to graduate, leave the four years that I've spent my life and invested my, my time in, and just start something completely new. So it's kind of just a reminder that I am capable of succeeding in college. Some of the challenges I have faced during my past four years is my tardies. I live fairly close to school, and I, that's always been a struggle for me. Also, attendance. This year, uh, I had surgery. I got my appendix taken out, and that affected my attendance because I had to miss two weeks of school. Also, because it is my senior year, I was, um, of course, visiting colleges and going to open houses, and so that also affected my attendance, and it was kind of hard to balance it out. Uh, my time management was another challenge. Um, I'm the type of person that has trouble saying no to people when they come to me and ask me for help. So that has always been a struggle because I always seem to just fill up my schedule where I don't even have time to get my own stuff done. And so that also led to stress. In my junior year last year, my stress got so great that I had to go to a teacher and ask for help. And that actually became one of my growths. But Luckily, I got the support that I needed. And also, self-reliance has been a challenge because even though self-reliance can be a good thing, it's not a good thing if you're, like, if you're, you rely on yourself so much that you're not able to seek help. And so that leads me to my successes and growths. I learned to prioritize my, my time. This year, I did have to deal with a lot, but I did prioritize my time in a way where I'm not as stressed and I'm able to enjoy my senior year. I'm willing to seek help now. At last year, after seeking help from a teacher here on campus, I learned that it's actually helpful and it could actually benefit not myself but also the others around me because they connect with they can connect with me better. I've learned. Oh, I've grown in my leadership skills. Entering high school, I was very shy, but through drama, through working in groups, projects, presenting my work. I've grown as a leader and I'm now able to take initiative in a group and also have confidence in my work. I've also grown in responsibility and independence. Since I am the first in my family to go to college, I am the first one to go through this process. My parents haven't gone through it and neither have my brother and sister, so at times they don't realize how stressful or how burdensome it could be. And so having to take that on and deal with the stress and still like keep track of everything else was very difficult at times, but also taught me responsibility and allowed me to become a little bit more independent about my life and where I'm going. So the essential question that I will be answering through this portfolio is, why do I think it's important to be an educated member of society? And also, how do I hope to impact society 
by broadening and deepening my education. So the way I answer this question, or in other words, my thesis, is I hope, or no, I think it is important to be an educated member of society because it allows me to learn more about myself. Education and learning more not just helps me learn actual content, but about who I am, what are my interests, and also what I can bring to my community. I hope to impact society by setting an example to my family and showing, that, showing them that there is more than one path to take after high school, and to impact my community by bringing awareness of all the opportunities there are, starting with my church. So the three artifacts that I will be talking about today is my American Dream research paper, my WLE project, and my reaction rate inquiry lab.